to another Let's Play Final Fantasy XIV. This is Endless with BGMechanica.com. Today I want to go over the retainers a little bit, show you how to put stuff on the bazaar, and I'm going to do some more storyline quests. Well, first of all, you might recognize Kohaku here. Kohaku's my retainer. I got her in an earlier episode. So, when you go into any of the market wards, you get this cool little thing. Well, it says summon retainer. Now, I've already summoned her, but if you click that, it just brings her into the area. So, because she's here, and as you can see, she's got a little icon above her head, people can buy from her. I've got her in Old Dawn on the Figaro server in the fourth market ward. Just cuz. I mean, there are nine to choose from, but later they're going to make them a little more usable. Right now, though, it's kind of random. You just need to go through and click on people. So to talk to your retainer, you just click on them like any NPC. And you're going to get a bunch of options. First of all, I'm going to exchange some items with her. I've accrued a lot more loot that I really don't need. Oh, I was getting a little worried there. She's a little full up. I'm going to give her a few more things. I have noticed, at least so far, that the ward or the, the bazaar doesn't really have an upper limit. At least not that I have seen. The number might not go up because it's going to stack with stuff I've already given her. Unfortunately, plus items don't stack with the items that don't have pluses after them. So while they're nice and they sell for more, it does make them a little more uh, space requirements, I guess. Let's see. This is a little slow. Some else they need to modify. Anyhow, well, okay. gonna call it good. These are actually some stuff I just bought. I'm gonna flip them in a bit. Alright, so I'm gonna hit, hit escape to go back. And then I'm gonna view and manage the contents of my bazaar. So this is the stuff I've got on the bazaar right now. Actually, I'd given her a thousand guild to start with, so I've sold stuff. Ahead. Pick something I have a lot of. Well, I know just through seeing a lot of things or, or prices on them that the market pelts will sell for around 300 easy. It's on sale unit price, but you want to click it over to unit price. You want to sell five of them. So that way they can buy just as many as they need and not have to buy the whole set. There is a bit of a tax, it's not very much, it's 5% if you're in the market wards. So it takes a bit for that to all configure, so I'm going to kind of be here. It's going to switch the next thing down on my list. those go for a lot, but I don't know what they really go for. Uh, something I've learned from other games is if you can find auction software or something like that. Now, there are forums where people can post their items they're selling. Um, or rather, there are software that allow you, allows you to do it. Uh, right now, I'm on the Final Fantasy XIV Yellow Gremlin on my other screen. And you can search for the item. Radiant. Ice Moraine. I'm doing this on another screen, I apologize. Just ice marine. I 
Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at what other people are selling it for, and I'm going to aggregate the price. So it looks like it's going for an average of 3,000 gil a piece. So I'm going to click sell. The purchase item is there if you actually want to buy stuff, something. If you, you can set purchase item, and if someone comes by and sees that you're buying something they have, then they will sell it to you. It's a good way to get stuff right onto your... Uh, Retainer. I've sold a bunch of crystals that way since I've been doing a lot of crafting uh, outside of those missions. So that takes a little bit to go through. We can listen to the uh, market music. It, it is a little time consuming getting everything on your bazaar. I do admit it is a little bit worth it though. It does get you some good uh, gill. I'm going to stop there just so I'm not spending the whole video doing just that. So here's something that's important. If you accidentally click dismiss your retainer, she'll leave the market and you'll have to re re-summon her to come here. But if you click finish managing, she'll stick around so that other people can come by and see what she's got, she, he or she in your case, and buy stuff from her. Something else is kind of cool that I haven't really played with is if you see a stall empty, I saw an empty one up here earlier, but it could be filled by now. And by stall, I mean these guys, and sometimes you'll just see an NPC pop up behind them. I think, yeah, there's someone there. Okay. I think this one is empty. Yeah. So you can click on stand, and it gives you the option to rent the stand and your guy will be there all this does is make them more visible to other players it's just kind of a tactic I've actually checked all these guys already I like this ward because it's not as populated but the drawback being that people might not come through here as often so yeah then there was the price on the stall by the way it's 500 gil a day so not really something to do early game but later game it probably be something worthwhile from the teleport up to the fronds, get out of the market, maybe, okay, yeah. screen let's see I want to do the next storyline now we talked to Momomo Mom Momodi sorry and I think she said to go to the platinum garage let me double check my journal Platinum Mirage, I believe, is the Pugilist Guild. Let's check the map. Huh, a cool note about guilds. So you keep seeing guilds all over the maps for different professions. Alchemist Guild, uh, Thermatist Guild, things like that. And really, they don't do much for you. Sometimes they'll sell you stuff, and they, the crafting ones let you craft things there. Uh, with a bonus but the big thing is once you hit level 20 in a class which i haven't done this yet but i've heard this through reading then you can go and talk to the master and they'll give you the opportunity to join their guild and then do guild specific quests which net you large amounts of guild credits which you can buy skill books to increase your class even more so that's a cool little uh feature for later in the game also and hopefully I'll get to it not too long on the videos. If we go through the storyline to about the level 15 quest, we'll get a new ability called Parlay, which lets us play with a play a mini game with certain NPCs in the cities. Uh, it's just kind of a debate mini game. It's just just for giggles. You can get decent. You can get some fun stuff out of it. If you lose, you just lose something small. So anyhow, here's the Platinum Mirage. And I 
had a question about the Colosseum, which is the Gladiators Guild. I'm imagining that you can start going back into it after you join the guild, but I don't know for certain yet. I tried to talk to people there and they just give me a regular conversation. There's nothing specific. Waiting for the NPCs to load. Okay. Oh no, it's usually the one on the left that we talk to initiate quests. Nope, not in this case. Oh! Yeah, okay. She'll make word of coming up. Proceed through the door at the foot of the stairs. Okay, it's kind of like the one where I went to the Thaumaturge Guild. All the guilds tend to look alike, actually. Alright. Door. So this will load the next area. a cutscene. Maybe not. recognize her and maybe him and of course him <laughs> it's everyone from the beginning oh for a second there I thought the, the game was glitching but <laughs> Sorcery is not possible within the Pugilist Guild. Alright, let's talk to people. Thaumaturge. Okay. different colored eyes. Uh-oh. 
They may have let that creature go on purpose. <laughs> I wasn't even driving, dropping one bit. Look like a proper peasant in this gear. My class currently is Thaumaturge. I, I got rank 5. It's easy to get that far. I got there in like an hour. Just drilled through 4. Guild quest missions. Okay, well, I'm imagining... Yeah, see, so a glow Im uh, emanates from my guild link pearl. Right, basically a cell phone. I'm going to talk to Momodi. Philomen? Oh, it's the cat girl again. Sun silk tapestries. Okay. Uh, to the Weaver's Guild, I guess. I like these storyline quests, they're relatively easy, but if you ever get confused, there's already a lot of really nice guides popping up on the web. Just type in the name of the quest you're looking for and you'll probably find a walkthrough. At least so far, I haven't gone through one that has a real chance of failure, you just need to follow the pieces. Sit at the fountain. That's kind of cool. Nope, 
as good as mine. Better than mine, but I'm not that high a level and it's really expensive, but it's good quality. Nope, I don't have any. I have a look. It's silly, but underwear actually gives you better attributes, so I keep my eyes open for better underwear. Underwear, undershirts, things like that. Alright, I'm looking for this is cat girl in here. marked on my map when I leave. So I do have to leave the city. I wish I... And I may have missed it, but it'd be nice if there's a way to train, change the opa uh, opacity of the map. And that way I could see through it a little better. Seeing your buddies on the map would be awesome, but we're hoping for a big update at the end of October. I know from a guide that it's over here. It's supposed to mark it, and that's kind of an annoying glitch, but... So I was heading to the wrong 2229. Now I'm going to head to the front. Should be up here. 
Yeah, that looks right. Again, I wish they had marked it like usual, but glitches happen. Especially when games are this new. As you notice, the Coblins are once again yellow, once again yellow to me, and that's because I changed my class recently. I'm rank five, obviously. I've mentioned that already. But because of my physical level being so high, they're not really as big a challenge as that says it is. so nice this would be a dull run. I'm supposed to get up there on the bridge. Looks like I found it. like they're they wanted to marry them. That would be a weird looking child. somebody crafting or mining or something area. Totoro. Totoro. Alright. 
right. A little more. I'm the adventurer. Great expression. It's the do uh, the girl. Spirit back up. You know, I would have cast Cure on her dad, but, you know, he died in a cutscene. And that's kind of permanent death in Final Fantasy. Cool, but much less dramatic without vo vocals. with the dead. Oh, I am a thaumaturge. Alright, now we run back to the city. More Momo wants to talk to us. Yep.
Thaumaturge. Again. start to accrue a lot of useless stuff and it's filling up your inventory and you don't foresee yourself going back to town anytime soon, a, ta a useful tactic is to put stuff in your bazaar. Not only does it give you the opportunity for people to maybe buy things off of you in the middle of nowhere, but it, it doesn't seem to take up any of your inventory slots once it's in the bazaar. Pro tip. Until, you know, they nerf it. Somebody is asking me why I didn't skip across country in many cases. A lot of the time it's simply because you never know when a cliff or a ridge is going to get in your way, and without the ability to jump, well you do if you look at your mini-map, but that said, without the ability to jump it can really slow you down. Just sticking with the roads tends to be faster overall. Like I can't get up that little jump there. I like the blurred depth of field. Gives you the idea that the camera's focused on you, and after a certain point, things get blurry, just like a real camera. Otherwise, if you set it without a depth of field, things in the distance get a little foggy but until they can load. I think the blur is just an alternate way of letting things load. guides I found for grinding up because I'm kind of anxious to get out of these starting areas. I mean, you always got to stop in a little bit to get to the cities and go to the wards, but I want to be able to do stuff further out.
city. Alright, let me remember where the Thaumaturge Guild is. I think it was on the other floor. Thaumaturge with a shield because the rod is a one-handed weapon. You use a staff as a conjurer, but you can get a one-handed wand as a conjurer, and as soon as you do that, equip a shield. There's no reason not to. It ups your defense. Just keeps you alive longer. Alright. Oh, another cutscene. Resurrection's a level 30 skill. Like if there's a little thing in his cowl for his ears. Apparently he read my mind. Knows everything I know. Oh, I've entered an instance. Guess it stops anyone from walking in front of the cutscene. This cutscene would be much more epic if I had better gear. Conspiracy.
No wonder she's so sad. They took her dad's body. This game's kind of dark in places. I guess if they can kill him in a cutscene, they can bring him back in a cutscene. Gods are cruel, now let us drink. That's an awesome line. Apparently he had no hand in the man's death. Strumpet. Awesome. Oh, here's another main character. At level 20, you can join guilds, like I mentioned earlier. Or rank 20, pardon me. Link Pearl is glowing. Go back to the quicksand. I think that means it's over. Despite all the walking, this one didn't really go on as long as some of the others.
already gotten to know this city fairly well. I still need to consult the map. But all my common places I can get to pretty easily. Golden Sacrifices. The Order's eyes are fixed on me now. Order's possessive eye is... It's a lot of apostrophes. Thousand gil, always appreciated. Where's my victory dance? Uh, we'll just do a jig. What she got for me now. Nothing new. I think she gives me a new quest at rank 15, but I'll work on that later. Since I'm at rank 5 with this one and only at rank 12 with Gladiator. some time left. dark in the city like this, but it isn't actually dark, that usually means there's a sandstorm outside. Ooh, let's go look for some stuff in the market. to increase my magical accuracy. Now I'm wearing gloves right now, but were I not wearing them, I could zoom in on my hands and every ring and bracelet I put on, you can see modeled on your character. And that is pretty awesome to me. accessories. So bizarre, I'll have to look into that later.
first and second wards are usually the busiest. They're also the most cluttered. So they take the longest to get through. But I'm a little flush with cash. And it's burning a hole in my pocket. So instead of doing the responsible thing and saving it, it... Really, I should level up my crafting a lot more and use the money for regions. Ingredients. Fighting fish. Not really anything I need though. I don't really need a skirt. I like it when they're named what they're selling. Not that I can equip any more accessories, apparently. Ooh. Ooh. bad idea to go to the level 11 one. Kind of midway between both. Not need a fishing rod. Wait, what was that again? Price for decorated silver copper scepters. seem to be a surplus of them, so... Wow, this is boring, isn't it? Okay, you know what? I'm gonna end it here, because I can't really get into anything without it taking a lot of time, but we'll do it for the next, uh, the next video. So, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.